This project, whether people realize it or not, is the single largest project in the history of the state of Rhode Island. It's a three-phase program that's designed to significantly reduce occurrences of combined sewer overflows uh, to the receiving water in the greater Providence metropolitan area. Significantly reducing these overflows will greatly improve the water quality of Narragansett Bay. This particular phase of the project, phase three of the CSO tunnel, comprises a tunnel which is approximately 34 feet in diameter. It's 2.2 miles long. The tunnel boring machine, or the TBM, is a very large machine. It's designed to excavate the tunnel and install the concrete ring segments. During the ring building phase, excavation stops. Once they form the ring, excavation begins again and the tunnel boring machine advances forward. Our bay uh, is one of the most important economic drivers for the state of Rhode Island. So this has enormous environmental impacts, it has enormous economic impacts, it has enormous recreational impacts. And quite frankly, it adds to our tourism business, which is, of course, our second largest business in the state of Rhode Island. And uh, everyone knows that uh, a clean bay is really driving this economy. And uh, we're very happy to be a part of that.